No. Hello there. Oh, oh, thanks very much for coming in. I'm Dr. Hannan. Grab a seat there for me. Yes, indeed. How are you, Doctor? So it's, it's Mr. O'Leary, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Frank. Okay. Frank. Oh, Frank, thanks very much for coming in to me. No problem. Um, I suppose, what brings you into me today? Okay, so what I'd like to uh, get done today, Doctor, is uh, the prostate blood test. Okay. Um, so that's, that's okay. kind of it, really. Okay, well, I'll get on to that in a second, but before I do, is there anything else that brings you in today? No, no, that's no, it. Just, just, just the for the, yeah, okay. exactly. Okay, and I suppose, you know, for what reason do you want to get the prostate checked? Sure, so I suppose it, there's a bit of a long story behind it. My father, my elderly uh, father, passed away there about oh, two months ago. Sorry, sorry to hear that. Oh, no, thanks. Uh, he, was, uh, he, was, he was very old. Uh, I think okay. he might be, might be better off. Uh, he had very uh, poor health, actually, for okay. the last number of years. He was okay. in a nursing home and things. But I guess w one of the issues that he did have was a prostate issue, I see. which was picked up in his 60s. Um, I've just turned 60 now, so, you know, Obviously, I'm, I'm kind of worried about that, and basically, I'd like to, if there is anything going on, I'd like to get it picked up early, and, and that, you know, because he did run into problems with the prostate later on in yeah. life and stuff, and just it was it was one of a multiple of issues, you know. So uh, if I can do anything to avoid that, I, I, I would, you know. Okay, well, so that's I mean, kind of it. I, I can understand that, mm -hmm. um, and certainly, you know, it's a simple thing to take a prostate blood test, and we can do it here in the surgery. Great. Um, but before we go and talk about that a little mm. bit more, there's just a few questions I'd like to ask you, if that's okay. Right, sure. Um, so, given where the prostate is located, which is just um, kind of at the opening of the bladder, okay. uh, quite commonly when there's an issue with the prostate, an individual will get issues with the with the bladder, or with the waterworks. Oh, okay. Um, so I just want to run through a list right. of questions with you to see if, if you're having any of these problems. Okay, that sure. Right? Yeah. Okay, Shoot. so I suppose one of the most common things is that um, people might have difficulty starting off urination. So when they go to the bathroom, it, it takes a few seconds before the urine starts to flow. Would you have experienced that? No, no, okay. I haven't noticed okay. that. No. And similarly, at the end of urination, sometimes people experience a lot of dribbling. Have you experienced that? No. Okay. No. Sometimes the strength of the stream is affected. For example, an individual might have difficulty hitting the back of the toilet bowl or the urinal. Oh, okay. Is that something that you've noticed? No, no, I okay. couldn't say I have, no. Okay. Do you find yourself waking up at night to pass urine at all? Um, you would the, the odd time now. It wouldn't be every night, but okay. maybe once uh, every every now and again. Okay. And, and would that be related to maybe having drank a lot of fluid or... Or would it just be independent of that? Yeah, possibly. Okay. Uh, or maybe a, uh, you know, a couple of points, maybe, or okay. something like okay. that. Okay, you know. understandable. Um, and sometimes with quite bad prostate problems, you can have an issue getting an erection. Is okay. that something that you might have experienced? No, no. Okay, okay. Sometimes as well with prostate problems, there can be blood in the urine. Have you ever noticed blood in your urine? No, no. Okay, certainly okay. not. No. Okay, great. Well, well, they're the main urinary symptoms mm. um, that can present if an individual has problems with their prostate. And it's actually a, a good sign that you don't seem to be suffering from any of those. Um, so before we move on, I would just say that, you know, down the line, if you did ever develop any of those symptoms, irrespective of what happens, you know, in the next few days and whatever investigations you do do, that you should come back into me uh, and just let me know. Okay, sure. Um, so before we move on, just one or two other questions, mm. uh, more about your general health as opposed to anything else. Mm -hmm. uh, have you noticed any weight loss recently? Uh, no, no. Are, are, are the clothes a bit looser or anything like that? No, no. no okay, no. great. Have you noticed any change in your bowel habit? No. Constipation or diarrhea or anything like that? No, regular. Okay, great. Have you noticed any back pain? Uh, no. Okay, no. Or, or any pain in any of the other joints? No, I, I do suffer my knee a little bit. Do you? An old okay. injury there, but okay. no, nothing, Not nothing new anyway. anyway. No. Okay, great. And anything like night sweats or anything like that? No. No, okay, great. Do you take any regular medications? Um, take some painkillers for the knee. Okay. That's about it, actually. Okay. No, I'm not on okay. any other medicine. Any allergies to any drugs? No. Okay. And aside from the, the knee problem, you know, do you have any other past medical history or past surgical history of note? Not really, no. Okay. Not really. Okay. Okay, great. Um, so you had mentioned earlier that the reason you came in was to get the prostate blood test checked. Yeah. Um, so before we talk about that a little bit more, I'd just like to get a better understanding of, of your impression of what the test is and what the results of it might or might not mean. Okay, yeah. So as I said, my dad had it picked up in the GP, I think, in his 60s. Uh, I don't know why they did it, but yeah, it showed that there, there was some hormone or something in the blood, mm -hmm. which meant he had prostate cancer and kind of went from there, I think. So that's kind of my understanding. So I want to get it done to see if I have any prostate okay. cancer kind of you know okay. going on there yeah. uh, at the moment. So okay, well that's fair enough. So the, you're right, the test is it's called the PSA, or Prostate Specific Antigen, uh, and it checks for a, a specific marker in the blood um, that can be elevated in cases of prostate cancer. However, what's important to bear in mind is that not every case of prostate cancer would have an elevated PSA. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Right, and, and okay. similarly enough, your PSA can be elevated in situations where you don't have prostate cancer. Right. So it's not necessarily, you know, as black and white, if it's high, it means this, or if it's low, it means oh, this. Okay. There's a little bit of a gray area mm. in between there as well. I see. Um, so generally what we would do is we'd check the prostate blood test. Um, if that's elevated, then we quite often just repeat it uh, a period of time mm -hmm. later. Uh, and then if it's still elevated, then, you know, we would often be required to, to refer you on to a specialist in the hospital called a urologist uh, oh, okay. who looks after prostate problems. Mm. Um, and then when you see the urologist, then depending on, on what they think, if the prostate level is high, then sometimes they have to do other investigations. Uh, you know, and it's not just blood tests, it could involve things like camera tests or biopsies or those kind of things. Oh, right. uh, and obviously any kind of investigation like that, you know, does have risks mm. and complications associated with it. I so see. I'm not trying to say that to scare you or anything yeah. like that, but just to inform you really that sure. it's, not as, it's not as black as white as we might think. A bit more complicated, yeah, they Yeah, there's a bit more to it than that. Yeah. Um, and the other thing that's important is when we have concerns about people's prostates here in general practice, there's actually two investigations that we do. Okay. So the first is the blood test that we've spoken about. Mm. And the second one is actually a physical exam. Right. Um, were you aware of any physical exam that was required? Uh, no, no, okay. I didn't. I thought it was just the blood okay. test. Okay. Well, we do the usual things, you know, checking mm. the, the tummy and checking your vital signs. But it's also important to do a physical examination of the prostate. Uh, which right. involves a thing called a digital rectal examination, okay. which is where uh, you know I would have to pass a finger into the back passage to have a feel oh. of the prostate. Were okay. you were you aware of that, or had you heard of something like that before? Uh, no, I mean I've heard of that exam. I didn't know it. You had to have it done if you wanted to get your prostate checked. Actually, you yeah, know? you do. You do. Okay. What I might do actually is just do a little drawing here to help explain where the prostate is and why it's necessary okay. to do that exam. Sure. So if you see here, this is the bladder, and mm. then the prostate just sits kind of at the mouth of the bladder, yeah. and the waterworks flow through there. Um, and if we draw in the back passage, this is where it is in relation to the prostate. So by passing ah, a see. finger, you know, just inside the back passage, mm -hmm. we can have a little feel of the prostate and that can actually give us quite a bit of information. Okay. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's obviously not a nice prospect and um, it, it shouldn't be sore at all. Yeah. Um, and it might just be a little bit uncomfortable, um, but mm. it should only just take a moment. Uh, and obviously, you know, if we were to do it and if you're experiencing any pain or discomfort at any stage, then we could just, uh, we could stop. Okay. You know? Okay. Um, so, just to kind of summarise everything, I suppose mm. you've, you've obviously come into me today because you have concerns about prostate cancer, and that's understandable considering that your father had it. Um, we've had a little chat about you know symptoms, and thankfully, from that point of view, you know you're doing okay, and yeah. you don't have any particularly bad symptoms. Um, and we've had a chat about the the physical exam. So, what do you think? You know, would you like to go ahead get the blood test, get the physical exam? Um, yeah, I mean. Just uh, it's a bit of a shock today. So yeah, well, I can understand that. Um, maybe if we could uh, maybe defer the the the, the internal examination yeah. or whatever you call it, and but I would be keen to get the blood test done. Okay. Yeah, okay. and uh, whatever else, I suppose whatever you think is best. But okay. kind of okay. I, I I take I take what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, well, I think if, if you're if you're happy enough with that, we might do the. You know, I'll do a quick general exam uh, yeah. and then we'll do the blood test. Uh, sure. And then maybe I might get you back in a week's time. We can talk about the blood test result and then we can also um, do the rectal exam then at that point. That, that seems fair. Yeah, great, that seems great. like a plan. And just before we progress on to that, um, I just need to double check. Have you in the last 48 hours either done any particularly strenuous exercise or have you ejaculated because that would have an impact on the results of the test? Okay. Uh, no, I haven't. No. Okay, no, great. And, neither. And it'll, yeah, okay, that's perfect. And maybe for the two days before you come in next week as well, you might abstain from that as well. Okay. Okay, great. Um, so what I'd like to do now is just to do an examination. I'd like to check the patient's vital signs and um, do an abdominal exam. Um, and then I'd also check uh, the urine uh, your analysis. So I just get a urine sample. All examinations are normal. Okay, great. Uh, having done the examination at this point, I'd, I'd like to do the blood test as well. Okay, great. Um, well, Frank, thanks very much for, for letting me do that. Uh, you know, I didn't find anything um, particularly abnormal uh, on, the, uh, on the examination. Mm. Um, uh, and we took the blood test as well, and yeah, obviously there's no problems there. Great. So what we'll do now is, you know, that'll go off to the lab. Uh, and as we've planned, um, I'll see you in a week's time. Mm -hmm. um, so before you go, uh, I'll just grab a little information leaflet here. Okay. Um, and I'll give this to well, you. Nice. And it's, 
you know, it just kind of covers everything we discussed today. Great, yeah, um, there's been a lot. We, we've yeah, we've gone through a lot, and you know, it'd be understandable if you might forget a little bit. So yes. it'll cover a lot. And um, okay. if you have any questions at any point, you know, you can either save them for next week, or if they're if you feel that urgent, you can just phone up and talk to me. Um, and, and that's about it. So, is there anything you wanted to mention to me? Do you have any, you know, concerns or anything like that? Uh, no, not particularly. I mean, yeah, just just thanks for thanks for explaining everything uh, so clearly. I suppose as I said, I didn't know it was kind of complicated, yeah. you know. But uh, I said, good that the things are normal today anyway. Uh, I guess we'll see what the blood test shows. And yeah, see you okay. back next week. And thanks, I'll have a read of this okay. and, and see if Excellent. there's anything else. Okay, okay. I'll see you then, Frank. Thanks Lovely. very much. Thank Bye. you. Cheers, Doctor.